Alright guys, welcome back, and in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit more about relative layout, so if you don't really understand what's going on with this relative layout or exactly how things are positioned, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be adding another widget right above here, and it's going to make a lot more sense, and you guys are going to have a lot more control over the positioning of your widgets after this tutorial. So, just like, actually let me do this, just might like make a little more sense so I'll say that we're making the same home screen as last time where you have an email and a password and you click this to log in however I'm just gonna be adding one as an example so instead of click me house I'll put like log in so I don't want to just run that but this button is eventually gonna say log in so now let me go ahead and add one of those inputs which would be an area where the user could type something so the first thing we need to do is import it. So import Android dot widget and it's called edit text. Alright, so actually let me do this. Alright, I'm gonna take this button and cut this and put it right under here. Alright, so we have the layout created and then we have the button created and now these are the buttons rules and then all of the housekeeping is taken care of down there so I think that's a little bit more organized so now the first thing I want to do is just create that edit text field and we'll say that I don't know it could be like for the username so I'll put username input even though it's technically called edit text so edit text I'll just name it username that'll be uh, easy to remember and set it equal to why do I always freaking type mu new edit text in this holy sweet okay so now we have that edit text field created now the next thing I want to do is this eventually of course whenever you make a real life application you're gonna have a bunch of widgets on your screen a bunch of stuff now a good thing to always do is to set an ID for each widget so then you can reference each one you can also do some other cool things if each widget has its own ID so again an ID is just a number to reference each one so let's go ahead and add an ID to this button and also the username so red button and all you have to do it's really easy set ID and then pass in a value and also do the same for username set ID and we'll call this one two so the ID of red button is one and the username input which is above it that widget will be ID two and I'll show you guys what we do with that in just a second but for now remember I said whenever you want to lay out something explicitly in a certain position you need to give it these rules right here so we already did it for the button so now we have to do it for the username as well so this is actually going to be really similar so if you just copy these button details and paste it right below then just change the variable button details to username details and let me see who's texting me alright it is my sister and she's giving me gift suggestions for my mom which I kinda need because it is Christmas in five days and I have absolutely no idea what to get her she's actually um, very difficult to shop for so alright where was I oh yeah in the middle of a tutorial <laughs> alright so now we have rules and these are basically the same exact things we're pretty much just making a container right here called username details and the container is the same size of whatever that input is simple enough so now what I want to do is say okay I'm gonna take that container which is pretty much the input and I'm gonna position it right above this button so how do we do that well above these button details um, let me add a give rules to position widgets alright so the first thing we need to do is username details we need to add a rule 
and the first rule is going to be this we're going to say that we want to position it above here where above well we didn't get into that, those rules yet but we do want to position it above so relative layout dot above so that takes it and it puts it above the button now actually I lied this doesn't put it above the button this just says okay you want to position it above something in the second parameter that's where we put the button so we say red button and this is where the get ID comes in handy because we need to pass an ID of a widget in here which is going to be one and then it's going to say okay take this and position it above the thing with the ID one so position it above the button so now our username input is sitting above that button so the next thing we need to do is add another rule and that is this so it's going to be above the button but we also want to take it and center it horizontally so it's in the middle of the screen and of course horizontal means left and right so now it's going to be above and in the center but right now if we just ran this it would be sitting directly on top of it and of course you always have some space between the input and the button so let me go let me show you guys how to add a little margin or padding between those two so the last rule we're gonna add ooh, my voice just cracked I'm like freaking 27 years old what's going on buggy alright so set margins and actually let me and here's another tip if you ever highlight something and hold down control and press Q then it's gonna pop up those details so these details I know you can't see them all but alright so it says give me four values left top right and bottom so if you're used to web design it starts on top but remember in this it starts on the left now we only want to add some margins to the bottom a little bit of spacing between the bottom of this and the button so for everything else the first three we can just pass in zero and for the last one we'll just pass in I don't know like 50 and if it if it looks too small then we can always come back and add more but again that's all we're doing right here so we created an input we gave all of our widgets an ID and then we're setting the rules on how we want to lay everything out right there now of course the last thing we need to do is actually take this and add it to our layout so just like the button Bucky's layout add view which means add widget basically and what we want to do is I think we just named it username yep so what we want to add is that widget and the rules that we're going to be using are these rules right there so now let me go ahead and run this and check it out so there you go as you can see we now position that input relative to this button we put it on top of it and we added some padding or technically margin it's called below the input to give us a little bit of space now we have a problem here and that's this is incredibly small it looks like the user could fit about one character in there and their username is probably going to be a little longer than that so in the next couple of tutorials I'm going to be showing you guys some more cool things you can do and how to fix that problem as well